Welcome to the Interesting Podcast, episode number 81. This episode is my buddy Daryl Saria, and Daryl is a runner, and I mean that in the truest sense of the word. When I think of somebody as like, oh, he's a runner, I think like, okay, he runs like, you know, X amount of miles in this amount of minutes. Daryl, like, Daryl ran a 50-mile ultra marathon. I didn't even know ultra marathons were a thing, and he does it. In Canada, where it snows, he just, he's crazy. He's crazy, guys, but he's also equally awesome. Right now, he's running, uh, he's trying to raise some money for the uh, the Cancer Care Manitoba Foundation, and it's a, a great foundation. They're trying to raise some money for lung cancer, and Daryl is, uh, he's running. He's doing the thing. They have this time slot uh, where he runs, and uh, he's trying to raise some money for that, so I had him on. We had to talk about it, and uh, we talk about how he first got into running, and it is not the way you would think, and then most people get started on like, oh, I ran, you know, a few miles, and then I would... Daryl started with a half marathon because he's crazy, but it, it's just nuts. It's nuts. So we talked about that. We talked about the training regimen. We talked about how he went from half marathons to full marathons, running all over the world as well. Uh, how he plans out his courses when he travels, he still gets in the runs. Um, and I, man, do I respect his mental fortitude. But Daryl is awesome. Super, super cool. Check out his page uh, at Debo27 on Instagram if you want to see running in the snow which just baffles me i don't even understand it but daryl was super fun to talk to again check out his page at the uh, cancer care manitoba foundation if you can help out a little bit uh it definitely helps and adds up so without further ado here is the interesting podcast episode number 81 with daryl saria theme song time an hour behind me aren't you i am it's oh, like 11 boy. o'clock a year like noon yes it is yeah yeah coincidentally my day is also just starting as you know oh, did you get some uh, sleep at least oh daryl i don't have to sleep <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what when do you sleep because you are running all the time uh, it seems like it that's what you see on instagram <laughs> Ooh, i like the but, mystery yeah I don't know how you run in that weather. You and don't? Now I look I look at your Instagram and then I'm like, mm, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. <laughs> is is there you know, hold on. Is there something yeah. special you have to do or wear to run in the snow versus like everywhere else? No. Um well in my case I don't usually like you can put uh, those track like cleats oh, kind of yeah, like yeah. a to run on snow if you want to, but I find it it's it, it's not for me. I yeah. did try it, yeah. and didn't didn't really care for it. Yeah, so, not a fan. No, so I had to kind of rely on my core and the the balance, right? That's me. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Man, did you did you run as a kid, or is this like a passion you picked up later on? Uh no, actually, let's see. It's pretty much something later on if in life. If you say you started last year, I'm hanging up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> I wish I did, but no. Uh, I started maybe nine years ago. Yeah? What yeah, 2011. Got, what got you into that? You're just like, I'm going to start running? <laughs> well, let's see. Um, my, my wife's cousin, like, prior to, like, him signing up, uh, signing me up for a half marathon, Oh, sweet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> yeah, totally. He, uh, he's like, yeah, I'll sign you up for a half marathon. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, right? And yeah, why not? You've, uh, had you years done later. <laughs> uh, no, I never, never, <laughs> he's never like, liked running. We're doing a half marathon. Let's go. Uh... <laughs> and I don't like backing down from a challenge like that. There so you go. Like, you know what? Let's do it. So I went to the nearest running room and started from there and then. The instructor that uh, kind of 
was running the clinic. It's like, uh, so have you ran before? And I'm like, no, I haven't ran. This is like my first time. And you're signing up for a half marathon? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, to clarify, Since, I didn't yeah. sign up. I was signed up. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, yeah, since then, I haven't stopped. Yeah? No. How did that first half marathon go? Amazing. Yeah? And then, uh, because I was with this run clinic, um, I uh, had to, there's a, it was actually for another uh, half marathon. So, oh. I did. I signed up for that other one. So, the first one that my, my uh, wife's cousin signed me up for, it was actually... Uh, the beginning of September, and <laughs> the second one was at the end of September. So I'm like, ah, let's oh, go. Oh God! <laughs> yeah. So, so hold on, you got you were signed up for a, mar- a half marathon, and then yeah. you get there and you're like, why not we up the ante and do two? So before you even did the first one, you were signed up for a second one. Yes, Daryl. That is correct. What's happening here? <laughs> uh, sometimes I tend to do things a little. Excessive. I respect that. I respect that. As somebody who also doesn't do anything halfway. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you've, been, you've never ran a marathon, and you're like, you know what? I'm running an entire marathon split into two halves in September. Yeah. What? Pretty. Did you throw up? No, I didn't. Wow. But my legs were... I like, bet. First one was good. I felt good for the sec- first one. But the second one, I gave it everything I had. Ooh. Oh, man. Was, did you pass out? Tired. No, Dude. I did not. How are you not? How are you avoiding these these like these steps you normally have to take on your first uh, training? Uh, if there. you follow your training properly, then everything should work out. You have to you have to pretty much trust your training. Sure. And that it, it happened. Were you like in the gym before doing all of this? Uh, no, I was. Really? <laughs> how did, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I was active before, like playing. Uh, indoor soccer like co-ed and um some indoor football and stuff but yeah man and basketball but never like long distance running sure it's a different beast for sure it, mental game comes into effect i bet sure. especially running miles it's like oh, you just keep on moving and then <laughs> after a while and i've heard horror stories of like people's nipples bleeding and that's oh yeah that that happens oh that, man it's the, also what you wear. That's when it starts to bleed. That makes sense. I think I've heard of yes. people putting like band aids, and I'm like, oh. yeah, I've done that. I've yeah, <laughs> it's like when women put like uh, band aids on the back of their heels, yeah. you know, it's, for like uh, shoes. Oh, he, like that's called the red eleven. Oh, uh. so <laughs> wear, you wear uh, white and you see red, and it oh, just no. yeah, it's called the red eleven. Oh man, yeah. I, uh... I don't like running, Daryl. I'll be honest. I I saw so I used to like running as a kid. Yeah. Because uh, I remember I was in like, I don't know. It's like just around the time I started middle school, and yeah. then I read something that said Johnny Depp liked running, and oh. this was, and this was around the time that like Pirates of the Caribbean came out. I was like, he likes That's running. Cool. I also like running now, so I would just <laughs> run all the time, and then I remember going to like uh, a Boy Scout meeting, yeah. and then we got there super early. So I just started running around the van because I was like, yeah, I'll just pass some time. And I kid you not, like two months after this little running phase thing I went through, I was diagnosed with asthma. Oh, man. And I was like, huh. Honestly, you, you, you just train yourself, and I'm pretty sure you could get into to running again. That's what I've heard. Uh, I, I remember yeah. in high school there was a guy who's like one of the best runners there, and he's like, he has asthma. Yeah. I was like, oh. And then Bruce Lee is like, you can like fight through asthma with martial arts, and I was yeah. like, "Oh, exactly." I'm... You can do a lot of things. Like you, you could control your own destiny. Sure, sure. Right? And so when you're so when you're running long distance at the beginning, yeah. yeah, what 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 does that training consist of? I'm very interested. Uh, for well, there's different uh, distances. So um, you have five oh. k. There's a five k. Okay. And there's a 10K, and then there's a half marathon, oh. and then there's full marathon. Oh, my God. Right. So uh, technically, you could start, you should start at the 5K just to see where you're, you are. And then if you want to push, then <clears throat> push on to the next, you know, distance. But Man. it's pretty much uh, 
finding a program that fits your lifestyle too, right? Okay. okay. Um, like when I started with uh, the half marathon, like I skipped the five and ten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but I did do a clinic, and it had me consistently running maybe four four times a week. I want to say. For how long? And then it, uh, during the week, it's usually a short runs like um, you know, 5K to, I want to say, 8K. My God. You or were training. Actually, you were yeah. training in the things that you're normally supposed to work up yeah. to first. Yeah. And then and on the weekend, like the either Saturday or Sunday, you do your long runs. Uh, super slow. Oh. Yes. Really? It doesn't have to be yet. You don't have to be fast. You just have to have a good, decent pace. Um, I how I gauge it is if you could actually run and talk to like it's always great to run with a, a running buddy, right? Sure. If you talk like normal conversation, then you're doing great. You're not you're not like heavy breathing. You're not like trying to gas for air, right? Sure, that makes sense. So it makes makes it easier when you run with a with a crew or a buddy. Sure. It actually helps you kind of push each other somehow. Right. That makes sense. And you're not, when you're talking with someone, I can imagine that you're worrying about the conversation as opposed to thinking about running and it's still going. Yep. 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 And you, it, time flies by, honestly. Like one hour turns to two hours. You're like, oh, we're almost done. Right. My God, running for hours yeah. at a time. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about running for like a minute straight That's now. Crazy. I'm getting awesome. winded just thinking about it. So what's the what's the <laughs> longest time that you've ever run? All right. So let's see. Um I've ran a fifty miler, which took me twelve just a bit over twelve hours. What? In one shot? Yeah. Uh yeah. In, in one day. Um what? but it this that you have to work your way up to that. Like, yeah. People have died mentally, trying to do that, I bet. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, someone died in, uh, you know, running a marathon, what? right? That, that yeah. 18 degree. Right? It was how me. It started. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> Man. So, yeah, uh, you have to work your way up um, mentally and physically. Like, literally, you have to have both at the same level before you try to attempt something like that because you can get injured sure. if you don't do it properly. Like it took me, what was it? I started 2011 and then I did my first full marathon two years after. I did it in 2013. And of course I didn't do it, you know, like a regular person. Oh, let's just do a full <laughs> marathon. Uh, I did uh, a challenge called a Goofy Challenge in Disney World. Oh, uh, it's yeah, it's, it's a half marathon on Saturday and then a full marathon on the Sunday. So I oh ran God. the half marathon with my wife and then I did the full marathon the next day. Good Lord, Daryl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember two halves in a month. Let's do one and a half in a weekend. Yeah. What? So, yeah. Man, you must be tired. Um, I was, but... <laughs> I had so much fun because I wanted to remember my first, and a great way to do it was, you know, spending it in a place where I like, love being in Disney World, right? That's a good point. A so, good and also, point. I that was actually, I don't know, I can't say it was my first time, but my first official, I guess, dressing up in a costume yeah. for a race. Um, it was, uh, I dressed up as, like, kind of, what is it, like Darth Goofy. Oh, sweet. I, Across the fandom, so that's awesome. And literally, it was like, you know how Florida gets hot, right? Oh and it's, yes. Um, and I had a goofy hat, and you know the Darth Vader uh, helmet, the dome part. Yeah, yeah. I had that on top of the goofy hat, oh my along God. with uh, 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 yeah. That is I guess long even leave. more impressive than running in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> and literally, people were like, I was in the back of the pack because I wasn't really going fast because I was enjoying the race and sure. the event. And literally, there is the best because 
I think a mile five, there was a family that saw me and um, yeah, they were actually humming the tune of the Imper- Imperial March. Oh, that's oh, awesome. That was the best. And then I think running under this underpass, there was a DJ and he actually uh, played like some Star Wars tunes. It was awesome. Sweet. That's basically yeah. the Rocky theme for you at that time. Totally, totally. You know. uh, but yeah, it was literally, it was amazing. Man. Like, I, I cannot yeah. fathom that at all. Did you say your wife runs too? Well, she used to. That's but cool. But she still does. Uh, but she knows her max distance. I think she likes running the 10K. Sure. <laughs> like, that but is insane. <laughs> These numbers <laughs> you're throwing out are, are so foreign to me. You're like, oh, yeah, 10K she, is she just equivalent likes to, to mess with, you know, yeah. just a little 10K. Like six, what? six miles in, in yeah. That is so ten k is equal to six six point two miles. Good lord, yes. running one mile, and I'm like, wow, <laughs> that is amazing. And you're like, you know, she likes to pace herself, you know, and a li- just a little ten k if you're in the- what? Yeah, she's amazing. Good lord, I'm an American. I drive everywhere, <laughs> 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 and it's really really hot in Florida. You have to. Yes, it it's is. so yeah. humid here. You have to swim through the air. And the fact yeah. that you ran a marathon and a half in a weekend, that is superhuman. So uh, to continue on with uh, my long distance, yeah. after that, I was like, that's 39.3 miles in two days. Good and I did Lord. it, you know, because of the half marathon, it, it took me under four hours. And then the full marathon took me under seven, right? My God. But that's also stopping and taking pictures with characters, oh. right? <laughs> so that was like, okay, you know. And so the wheels started turning. I'm like, hmm, that's not it. That's pretty close to a 50 miler, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> You're like, I survived I that. <laughs> I'm like, well, so after that, I guess I still continued running, but I want to say it was 2000 and. 16, I think, I decided to run my first 50 miler because I wanted to turn, I wanted to run 50 miles before I turned 40. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Right. That's insane. 50 so, miles. The fact yeah. that that's even an option just blows my mind. Well, there's other options. Oh. Like, there, I, after that, I was like, do you think, can I do 100 miles? Oh, or, my God, Daryl. There, you know, there, there's crazier people than I am out what? there. But do you think you yeah. could do a hundred? Uh I bet you could. I'm not saying I'm not saying you should because I would not be responsible <laughs> for finding your limit. <laughs> like, Honestly, just... that that's exactly it. It's trying to see what your body's capable of doing. Sure, sure. Pushing it to, I guess, its limits. Do you think that's part of it as well? Like the running is <laughs> super fun, but it's also like a Dragon Ball Z type thing. Oh, fully. It's just like that's why I like Goku. Goku. Yeah. He, he like find his like he wants to get to the next level. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I guess running's like that, right? Yeah. What that level, right? You definitely know yourself halfway through. Yeah, totally. You you literally like you find out a lot of stuff about yourself, like Jeez. especially running long distance. Yeah. Like, what you're capable, like what you could push through. It's you just have to tell your mind that you could do it. That makes sense. But I don't know how you would possibly tell your mind to run 50 miles. (laughs) It takes time. Man. Yeah. And you did it. Yeah, I did. I did. It was amazing, like, just to finish. I was like, wow. And how long did it take you? The 12 hours? Yeah, 12 hours. Like, there's the aid station is amazing. Like, they have chips, they have, they actually make sandwiches for you. Oh, that's cool. And so, Oreos. You name it. They, yeah. they had it. Yeah. They had bacon. Oh, man. Oh, what? Sweet Canadian uh, bacon? This is, uh, I believe so. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It Literally, the ultra marathons are different than the the, the, the road marathons. Oh. Like, ultra it, marathon is the 50 miles? Anything more than a uh, full marathon. So I think when it starts, it starts at 50K. Oh, my God. And that's when you, you could say it's an ultra marathon. Good lord. Is there a mega marathon after ultra? 
<laughs> not too sure, but it's still considered an ultra. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna create a new one. We should. I don't actually. I don't think we should, because then you're gonna try it, and I, <laughs> and I will not be held responsible for this. Uh, I shouldn't try it because it takes a lot of your time. Jeez. Like I had to fit training with family, and it's it's difficult when you have. Um, Young kids. Sure, I bet. So I had times where I have to wake up uh, at three o'clock in the morning and train. My God. That way, I'd be back by the time they're up, like on the long weekend, on like on the week, the weekends. Sure. I try to not. I when I run, I try not to interfere with family life. That's a good idea. But you know, Finding there's that times balance. where yeah, it's always that balance, right? Mm. You know how. It's me. That you. is uh, insane. So is there something different you have to do as far as training goes for, as you up the distance? Um, or is this, it like the fundamentals kind of carry over? Uh, it's more than, I guess, yeah, fundamentals. But, I mean, you also have to worry about nutrition and what you put in your body. Oh, yeah. What do you eat? Um, Well, during the run, uh, they have, like, certain nutrition that uh, – Run, they they make runners like uh, goo like it, it's like kind of like a gel. Oh, with what? Like, that's cool. Uh, it's cool, but it's not the greatest. Is it gross? Uh, <laughs> depending on what flavor you get, like there's different flavors. Oh, yeah, they have like from chocolate to fruity. So, oh, I bet the chocolate one's gross. Uh, the chocolate. One, well, I, I like the espresso. Espresso. One's oh, good. Have, that makes yes. sense as far as running goes. Give you a little energy as well. Um, and they have chews, they have, they have certain things, but you also make, bring your own, like some people like to bring like dates or like sure. some dry fruits or as jerky, beef jerky. That makes sense. But it all depends on, yeah, it all depends. I'd be the guy covered right, in uh, sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you'd like to do an ultra marathon. Cause, yeah, I uh, just walk uh, for like one so. mile yeah. and then one. Clean. <laughs> yeah, do, I know you can do more. I can one hundred percent walk a mile. I believe in myself that much. Well, you walked to uh, New York, didn't you? I did. See, boom. Uh, so I, I'm pretty sure you ran. Right, you walked. You I can walked, walk a few miles. I mean, yeah. I, I don't want to brag, yeah. you know, <laughs> with an ultra with an ultra marathon <laughs> runner here, but uh, <laughs> uh, I can uh, I can walk for hours. Yes, you can. I don't want to, but I can. Yeah, I found my limits. <laughs> <laughs> At least you know your limits. That's right. right? There, it's a uh, pretty close to the starting line. That's so. There are you can bring your own snacks, and there are snacks you can. on the way. Um, I guess depending on the race, some races uh don't want you to have like certain things, but I oh, I don't know. I I've only ran races where I guess you could bring your own like gel and stuff like that. Like I don't bring sandwiches on races. <laughs> no, that's a Brian thing. Oh, <laughs> uh, but you know, I have no place to put it. It's, that makes uh, sense. Yeah, that makes sense. You want to carry less, but I tend to do the opposite. Yeah, <laughs> man. So yeah. this, so so this fifty mile thing. Yeah. Twelve hours. Yeah. Was there any point when you're like, "This was a terrible idea"? Actually, no. My Surprisingly, I, I I was more like enjoying the moment. I like, respect that. There, there is, there was times where I was like, "Oh gosh, <laughs> my legs." Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, "You know, what? just keep going through, Put, oh, push man. through, and get to the end." That's that and real competitive. such force. Yeah, it is, and that's the thing. Like, I'm competitive with certain things. Sure, it's best to be competitive with yourself, as Goku oh, says. Totally. You know. Yep. Exactly. Man. Reach that next level. That's right. That's right. That kind of reminds me of like that sort of mentality like a lot of athletes have. And yeah. like I had um a long time ago, a few years ago now, I had a guy named Bill Porter on the show. And he was like a three time world champion martial artist. And I asked him, I was like, you know, when you're when you're in the ring for the world championship, like it, yeah. who are, the person who walks out of this is the champion of the world. And I'm just thinking Dragon Ball Z. And uh, <laughs> yeah. And I was like, what's... World tournament. Yeah, and I was like, what's going through your head? He goes, honestly, I'm looking at the other guy and saying he's in my ring. 
And I was like, ooh. What you, what, what, it's what you tell your mind. Right? That's right. That's right. Right. Before running that uh, 50 miler, I had to get up early, pick up my buddy, uh, drove out, and the race started at six, and it was two hours away. So I had to get up early, pick him up. Oh, man. And yeah, it was literally, you just have, I told myself, well, I'm not leaving this place without that medal. So, oh, man. Even though it got tough at times. Oh, yeah. I bet. Yeah. Sheesh. So, yeah. how long did you have to train for the, the ultra one? Uh, it was ongoing because I was, uh, I was, um, training before that. Mm -hmm. Although I had surgery, um, in February and I had, and the race was in May. So, what? Yeah. Wait, so you had surgery yeah. while training for an ultra marathon and then you still ran the ultra marathon three months after surgery? <laughs> yeah, I did. What? Goodness gracious. Yeah. Yes. That is nuts. So mentally, I was I was like, "Can I do this?" I had doubts. Sure. I really had doubts that I could finish it. Man. Uh, but there's this uh, friend of mine that he's uh, he's he's amazing. He's ran a lot of hundred marathon, uh, hundred mile marathons, and he what? we we ran thirty miles that day. I think it was like three weeks after. Was it three weeks? Maybe Sheesh. after my like after recovery, it was three weeks after recovery, and if I didn't get like I only wanted to run maybe half that that day. Sure, but things didn't work out, so I had to full the run the full like back and forth. <laughs> Good lord! Yeah, so I ran thirty miles, and after that day, I had that confidence that I'm like I could do this. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. My yeah. my brain yeah. doesn't even comprehend that. And this is all in Canada. Yeah. Wow. Is it hot? Is it cold? Uh training wise it was March, so oh. it was it was cooler. <laughs> yeah, cooler. <laughs> you like feet of snow. You're like, eh, a little nippy. Cooler. Man. What what is that watch that you have? Because you post a lot of pictures of those when you're running. What's going oh, that's on? That's a that's a Garmin Phoenix three, like Garmin, it's like not the GPS. The, yeah, GPS Garmin, but it they have it's pretty much you could do it for. There's a lot of things you could do on this watch. Uh, track running, walking, hiking, bikes. Oh. Yeah, it, it's pretty fancy. And, and this watch I actually won. Oh hey. Uh, yeah, I won this because I did a, a charity, like the the race I'm on uh, committee for. Yeah. Uh, I it's the WFPS run half marathon, and I raised thirty five hundred. It's a lot of money. And so I came in second place, and that was one of the prizes. And um, yeah, that's cool. I, that was the one year I I uh, raised charity for and asked people whoever donated uh, to choose my costume for that race. Oh, uh, cool. And what they picked? Night. Uh, well, it was between Stormtrooper. Sweet. And uh, Slave Leia outfit. Oh, yeah. You know which one won. You had to go with the <laughs> Hut Slayer. Uh, yeah. Dude. Well, no, I, I didn't. They chose me. Yeah. <laughs> I guess what? people wanted to see me in a, a bikini, right? So. Hey, whatever gets you the watch, you know? Yeah. And... <laughs> It was pretty chilly that day, and I, my wife and my kids were gonna meet me at the finish line, and uh, I told them, "Oh, I'll," because I I wasn't really training that much for this race, uh -huh. and uh, I told them, "Oh, I'll finish at uh, around two hours and ten minutes, right?" Sure. <laughs> so it was chilly that day because I had not much to wear. Yeah. <laughs> and I got to the finish line. Uh, under uh, at an hour and 53 minutes oh. <laughs> so it's a little over scheduled and when my wife called me she's like why are you i'm like i'm inside <laughs> warming up <laughs> it was so cold my god mental fortitude there yeah. it is uh, but uh i also uh hurt that day where i chafed 
between the legs. It oh, hurt. No. So, and how yeah. long how long was that one? That was a half marathon, so thirteen point one miles. My God. <laughs> that is nuts. So what is it do you uh do you time your miles? Like by because you know people are like I want to get under this many minutes miles or are you um, like way past that because you're doing so many of them. Uh, I don't know. Like for me right now, I I'm I'm actually doing that. But prior to, I was just more having fun and kind of sharing. You know, running is fun kind of thing. Because sure, all, from my full marathon, I've been running in costume for most of my races. Right on. Yeah. So I've ran. In a stormtrooper costume for May the Fourth. Sweet. That was tough. I bet. That took yeah, that took me under three hours. But there Long was a time. lot of pinching. Yeah. Oh, you know the pinching, right? Oh man, armor bites. Oh uh, yes. So I had that, and I couldn't wear the helmet because it was it was cool where the fit lens was fogging up. Mm-hmm. So I had to take it off and carried the helmet for pretty much. Most of the run, oh, I wore worse. it crossing the start line and wore it finishing it. That's all that matters, so, really. Yeah, exactly. And I ran, I ran in a lot of Disney run Disney races where I've dressed up as like, um, uh, Bosk. Oh, like sweet. The, 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 I crossed over. I did a, a Donald Duck Bosk. And so I've even done, better. <laughs> yeah. A lot of them were crossovers, and my best one was, uh, I'd have to say, was the Animal Fet. Oh, yes, the Muppet. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, and <laughs> I crossed the finish line, and one guy goes to me, goes, dude, you're on Star Wars uh, Twitter. So I'm like, what? What? You made it. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, I was, they, they did me. I was on, I'm like, sweet. Yeah. Man. And then I, yeah. I just... And then I've done was like mm. C3PO crossover with Goofy. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh there's I have a list that I want to do. So Yeah, for sure. There's there's a, there's a more Disney races coming, so I'd like to go in. To... Do you have a favorite race you've done so far? Favorite race. Oh man, that's a tough one. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> that's a tough one. Uh locally, I'd have to say the race that I'm on committee on. Right on. Um, but if it's, oh man, I'd have to say Chicago. Oh. It was last year. Okay. Um, okay. That was first major because I don't know if you know, but they do have uh, a major marathon for, I guess, that the, you, there's six majors for the, the marathons. Oh. Yeah. And uh, there's three in uh, North America and three uh, international. Oh. So, so the the ones in North America are Chicago, New York, and Boston. And overseas is uh, London, Berlin, and Tokyo. So Ooh. that's what yeah, that's what I'm after right now. Trying so, to do all of them. Yeah, but. It, it's Boston will probably be my last because I have to get a sp- specific uh, qualifying time. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to guess that's my last because I got to get faster to get in. But the other races, I could get in through lottery or charity. Oh, that's cool. But I'd, I'd rather, like, if I could get through lottery, then I'll do it. Sure. Or, um, but this year I'm running New York in November. Ooh, so sweet! My second, my second uh, major. That's really cool, man. Have you been to New York? No, I have not. Well, I know you have. It's pretty big. Yeah, man. And you don't like the subway system, right? No, not at all. It's so confusing, man. It's. It's, and the other thing was, like, I was trying to compare it to, you know, the underground in London. Yeah. And theirs is just way better. Way, oh, it's just it's I agree. I agree. So much, like, oh, I, I, I understand they've had hundreds of years to perfect yeah. everything, so that makes sense. Yeah. But, oh, man, it's so confusing in New York. But oh, that doesn't man, matter to you because you're going to be running. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. 
<laughs> My goodness. So are you from Canada? I am. Uh, born and raised. Right on. In Winnipeg? Yep. yep. Cool. Yep. What's Where uh, like? Pablo Hidalgo Yes. Is, right? My hero, man. Yes. What is Winnipeg like? I've never been. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice city. You know, nice city to raise a family. Right on. Um, uh, it's growing, for sure. Always yeah. growing. Yeah, seems um, to be the nature of things. But it's, it's cold for half this the year oh god what's the most north you've been the most north uh because canada's Gim- pretty up there yeah yeah it is uh i want to say gimli <laughs> i haven't been up way up north probably best yeah i'd like to try that uh, check it out and i i'd like to visit alaska one day it's huge from what i understand yeah no my friends so. just uh went there uh george and kelly who was okay. uh, my girl, my whiskey, and me? That yes, yes, yes. I, I they to drove that. and uh, that's crazy. Oh, oh man! Yeah, they drove the West Coast. I remember. Yep. yep. Yeah. Man, it's just crazy. you're looking at like the super north stuff, like you know Alberta, Saskatchewan, way, way, way up there. It's yeah. like you're in the polar ice caps. Oh, totally. Sheesh. It's gonna be a hard path for me, Daryl. <laughs> It's going to be a hard pass. I know you won't do well with cold. So. I don't like the cold. Oh, no. I also realize, so I've been telling people for the longest time, because I've, yeah. I've been to a tiny part of Canada, yeah. and everyone's like, oh, where have you been? And I was always like, oh, Ontario, which I realized <laughs> is huge. such a dumb, dumb thing to say. <laughs> That's like, so you've been to America, right? Yeah, I have. I've been to, been to the United States. You're like, oh, yeah. okay. Like you need to be a little more specific. <laughs> I was like, oh, where in Ontario? Yeah, in the entire province. Uh, I've been to Niagara Falls. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Yeah, and we we went there like accidentally. Uh, oh, you did? Yeah, because we were trying to go to Niagara Falls in the New York side, the Buffalo side. Oh yeah. yeah and yeah. Uh, we accidentally took a wrong turn and ended up in Customs. <laughs> and I will never forget my dad looking in the back seat, just go, well, yeah. I guess we're going to Canada. And we're like, oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> At least you could say you went to Canada. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, there have been, My feet have touched Canadian soil. And from what I understand, <laughs> the Canadian side of Niagara Falls is way nicer. Yes, that's yeah. what I hear. Yeah. That's what I hear. I've never been to uh, on the other side. so. Me neither. <laughs> I didn't, we didn't go to it. <laughs> Man, Canada seems nice, though, but just too cold. Too cold. Seeing your Instagram, I'm like, oh, boy. Yeah, uh, you can live through my Instagram if you want to. That's visit exactly cult. what I do. <laughs> my yeah, it actually just snowed today, again. Ugh, nope. I, I thought it was it. over, but no. It's never over up there. Don't lie to me. <laughs> and then you just went to Australia, Australia and Hawaii. And Hawaii, yes. What? And you ran in those places. I did. I, I training doesn't stop. That is amazing. But I still also. Try not to affect uh, the family venture adventures. So sure, it's that gotta balance. Do it yeah, you gotta gotta do it before they wake up. Yeah, <laughs> man. So, so at, at this point, when you're in the middle of like training and stuff, when you travel, do you have to take like routes into account? Yes, I try to do my research and find places where it's not, you know, where it's safe. Yeah, you but, know, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. But you never know, right? When you're in a a different country. That's true. Hey, at least you can outrun them. Uh, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> well, when if if I'm like close towards my end of my my training run, uh, depending. Oh, you're right. <laughs> you want to make sure the crime laden part is in the beginning of the run. Yeah. So you still yeah. have full energy. Exactly. So I have that burst. Yeah. Exactly. All you need is a tiny sprint. Yeah. Just enough to get away. Yep. Man, but, so yeah. do you, when you do these routes, do you like make it to where you end pretty close to where you began? Uh, I usually try to do that. Um, if not, then I'll just do my out and back kind of thing. Oh, smart! So halfway there, don't get back lost. There. Yeah. Yeah. That but makes sense. um, was it? If I'm running at like if I'm on time and I need to get back to a certain place, then I would try to. Good thing with technology, have your your phone and. Google, you know, the distance. Yes. That's the only way to do it. But there's one time when we went to uh, 
Paris and I ran. What? In my phone. Yeah. I ran from where we were staying to, I guess, certain major points. I, I tried to run, I run to, uh, how is it, the uh, Arc de Triomphe and then to uh, the Notre Dame. Oh, sweet. And then, but I did start off running towards north where Sacre Coeur and uh, Moulin Rouge was. Ooh, sweet. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I'll make all those those runs. And then by the time I got to uh, the Notre Dame, uh, my phone was like about to die. And I'm like, I don't know how to get back. Oh, no. <laughs> If I, so I was supposed to hit uh, the Eiffel Tower after that, but I'm like, if I go there, I'll probably get lost to get home. It'll take twice as long. To... Yeah, so, that's not good. So I'm like, eh, let's just go back. Oh, man. So I had to cut it short. So, Whew. yeah. Do you speak French? No. Okay. No. <laughs> Me neither. Yeah. I think it's Quebec is like the big French one, isn't it? Yes, it is. Man, look at that. That was just a guess. Oh, pretty good. Yeah. So you've been to Paris. You've traveled a lot. You've been to a lot of places. Uh, yeah, I've been fortunate to travel. Well, I've been to London a few times. Have you ran in all of these places? That's my my intention. Ah. To... Yeah. I see how the sausage is made a little bit. Uh-huh. Man. That way I can see I've ran here and there. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Do you so want to back... run in Antarctica to say you've been on all the continents? I'd like to. Oh, I bet <laughs> but, you could. I, yeah, but it'll probably cost quite a bit to get there. Oh, you're going to have to sell some people. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be legal what you have to do to oh. get there. But, uh, you know, it's all about the mental fortitude. Right. <laughs> so what's your favorite place you've ran? Oh, man. Another hard question. Yeah, that's what I do. Uh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Views the views. That's what ah. I mean, because there's got there, you've been to some pretty crazy places that while you're running, you're like, oh look, a yeah. beautiful volcano. I'm like what? Yeah. Oh man, yeah. The views are amazing. The uh, the slopes and hills are tough. Uh, I, I did run New Zealand, and that was tough. What? All those hills, they're, they're supposedly they're volcanoes. That's so cool. Yeah. I ran in. New Zealand. That was fun. Did you take a Lord of the Rings tour? I know I have a magnet uh, in my fridge. I did. I did. Oh, dude, is it as amazing as I think it is? It is. It's, wow. if you ever get a chance to, you got to check it out. One day. And I wanted to check out the Mount Doom. Yeah. They had a tour, but we weren't in New Zealand long enough, so. Sure. Hey, you saw the Shire, so. Yeah, I did. Yeah, exactly. That's cool. Got to drink at the uh, Green Dragon. What? It was awesome. What? That's so yeah. cool. So you've got the you've got the South Pacific pretty much covered. <laughs> you got I Australia. So. You got <laughs> yeah. New Zealand. Have you been to Japan? It. Not yet, and that's on my Ooh. list. And that's one of the the majors. So yeah. Hopefully. One day I'll make it there. Yeah. That's and I, uh, man, there's so much I want to do in Japan. It's, it's like Dragon Ball Z. Oh yeah. It's like, Attack on Titans? Oh. Dude. You go crazy. I know. One day. One day. Have you ever have you ever thought about running the Great Wall of China? Uh yeah. They have actually have a uh, I believe a half marathon or a full ma- marathon. What? So I'd like to. Dude, you should. Yeah. I support this. And I would love to dress up as like uh one of the characters in Mulan or something. Right? You could yeah, be Mushu. Be yes. That'd be so cool. Good, be cool. Man. Oh, man. Yeah, there's... Ah, man, I have a list of places yeah. <laughs> I'd love to. It's and it, the view... So, you, so you've ran London because yeah. that's ballsy. <laughs> it, it's it's fun. Yeah? It's, it's, <laughs> Dodging yeah. traffic? You're like, ha-ha! Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. Yeah. So Tokyo... What is So what are some places that you haven't ran yet that you're looking forward to? Great Wall of China. Tokyo. Yeah. Tokyo. Um, I'd like to run Berlin. Oh, that'd be cool. Oh, can't wait for New York. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you need to go to Ireland. Oh, it's that's one place I wanted to the do. The best. Yes. 
I love Guinness, so I love. Oh, it. dude, wait till you try it there. Uh, that's what I hear. It really is the best in the world. Oh man, I can't speak Wendy. for the Canadian Guinness, but I can say the American Guinness is high. But uh, it high. is a totally different drink compared to Dublin. Okay. It even tastes different, yeah. and Dublin, yeah. it's like there's that leprechaun magic in it. Oh. It's so good, man. Now I gotta. Looking forward to it then. Yeah. Yeah. So what? So then, what would be? Is the fifty mi- the fifty one? Is that the hardest one you've had to do just for sheer distance? Fifty, yeah. 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 Sheer distance. Um, I did a. Cha- I've done challenges for myself. Uh, where I think um, I did something like run around the Death Star oh, <laughs> for what? myself. That's and cool. I, it's find out how the distance or like around the Death Star. I think it's like. 350 miles yeah, or something. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, so it took me, uh, how long did it take me? It took me a couple months to run 350 miles. Goodness. Yeah, but it wasn't straight. Yeah, for sure. It, easy. it adds up. But it does add up. Like if I ran two miles here or three miles like daily, you know, I'll get there. But I just wanted to see how long it would take me to run around the Death Star. Yeah. And <laughs> Crazy things that I do. Hey, it's you can now say you've done it. Yeah. Which I is could. pretty much why I do anything. <laughs> I've gotten in some terrible, dangerous situations just because I was like, you know, if I survive, this is going to be a really cool story later. Let's do it. Exactly. That's yeah. the thing, right? Yeah. You have stories, mm-hmm. you know. That's what life's about. Yeah, running in different places and coming across, you know, certain right. things. Right. right. So when, the you, stories you have, right? when you're so. running in like, in like the wilderness or are you mostly running like along paths? Like, have you ever yeah. had any like, you, so you've never had any like dangerous animal encounters like snakes and whatnot? No snakes. Uh, do they have snakes in that. Canada? Uh, they do, but they're just small snakes. Okay. Okay. Like garter snakes. Oh, gotcha. We have we not have, poisonous. Uh, Florida's a, a, a cesspool of snakes. Oh yeah. Oh man. Oh, it's the worst. It's the worst. And I'm terrified of snakes, so it's just not a good, not a good combination. Oh yeah. Mm-mm. And then I have Gold. another buddy named uh, Gordon Tarplay. He. Um, yes. You know Gordon. Yes. He does a lot of yeah. running, and he yes. lives out in Los Angeles. Yep. And he posts pictures all the time, like found another rattlesnake just hanging out. I was like, oh, I would That's never. Crazy ever do that i see some of his runs i'm like holy cow yeah good lord no thanks i've had one run in with a rattlesnake before and it was a bunch of years ago and i was in a junkyard and uh we were taking some uh taking some parts off of a car to put on my car and whatever and while we're taking this thing out it's my dad and i i'm walking and luckily i had boots on at the time but I was walking and just not thinking about it and going kind of forward. And yeah. just out of my peripherals, I noticed something right in between my legs. Oh, my goodness. And it was this massive, like, two-inch thick rattlesnake. And I was like, ah! <coughs> and I jumped, <laughs> I, I jumped up in the air on top of the car next to me. I was like, get yeah. the snake right there. And my dad is like, Why what is happening? Why does it have to be snakes? Yes, exactly. That's how I make myself feel better because I turn into yeah. a little girl when snakes are well, around. You but can then, say Indiana Jones. I do. I do. Right. That's the only way I can calm myself down and be like, it's okay. You're still a man, Brian. It's okay. That sound didn't matter. <laughs> no and, worries. And so that happened, and then we finished taking the part out, and my dad was like, where's the snake at? I was like, it's over there. And then we watched, and it started coming out uh, from underneath the, the car. And my dad was like, does your phone take video? I was like, yeah, why? And he goes, just start recording. I was like, oh, okay. Anyway, so, so I start recording, and he grabs this, like, two-by-four and throws it near the yeah. snake. <laughs> yeah. And it, like immediately starts like coiling up and making the little rattle thing and it it was pissed and i was like oh my god in the video and i'm like this, what are you doing and he's like you've never heard a rattle before i was like no i haven't he goes well now you have i was like okay okay that's kind of cool but don't do it again <laughs> and, and it just curled up underneath the car and then just kept looking at us and like opening his mouth and then closing it opening and closing it and i was like oh dear god but man rattlesnakes those rattles are very very loud Way louder than you'd expect. Like in the movies, you think it's like, all right, it's relative. But it was like 15, 20 feet away from me. It sounded like it was right next to my ear. Oh, jeez. It was nuts. Yeah, that that would be scary. Yeah, so snakes, that's what I think about when I think of running. 
when right. it comes to down here. And we have like everything. We got like all kinds of poisonous snakes. We now have pythons in the Everglades. What? It's just uh, Florida's like the Australia of America. I uh, could see that. Yeah, just crazy. You never know what's going on. Florida man's out there somewhere. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Jeez. It's, yeah, it's it's a fun time. It's a fun time. Sounds like it. I just can't. So have you ever come close to passing out while running? (laughs) No, I don't think so. Really? Uh, Actually, not running like distance wise, just workout wise. Oh, right. Like running, uh, training on hills. Oh, I bet. Yeah. It's like the point where I'm like throw up and not pass out, but just throw up because I worked so hard. Man, so do you? Yeah. What do you do when you're training? Are you like doing like any other regiments, like uh, like weightlifting and other stuff, or is it just uh, running, 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 running? No, I should do some like core exercises and um, <clears throat> cross training, but I haven't implemented that. Like I've done it in the past, but not this 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 training program. Sure. But, yeah, usually squats and like certain circuit. Like on your off days that you're not running, you should be doing cross training just to keep it up, you know, keep it up and strengthen all the other muscles. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, especially the core. That's what keeps you hold it, uh, hold you up. So. And that's where it's at. So as far as running, yeah. core is like top priority. Should be. You think it'd be, be the legs? Uh, well, that's where the squats come in, right? Oh, good point. Good point. Yeah. And the lunges and all that stuff. So Sure, sure. Yeah. And it prevents injuries if you keep your other muscles strengthened. Sure. Oh, that makes yeah. sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Man, yeah. this running stuff is just making me tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even doing it. <laughs> I should challenge you to run a 5K. You can challenge me to run a one-miler. <laughs> <laughs> well, 5K is like three miles, so. So that's three times my allotted amount of running. Um and you know what? Deal. I didn't even say I would run the one. <laughs> I could travel <laughs> one. I could travel a distance of one mile. Right. Jeez. That's right. <laughs> that is. Well, wrong. there is a Disney race, and that's that's next month, and it's a Star Wars race. So That'll be fun I'll to look at on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully, I'll be there next year. If, That'd be cool. Things, yeah, be cool. What's it? What's your favorite medal that you won? Is it the fifty one? It's got to be the fifty one, right? Because that's like uh, the fifty. Uh, did you, you get a medal? Yeah, I do. It was. It's a winning a winning medal, which is Sweet. nice. Sweet, nice to it. But I don't have to say my favorite one would probably be the dopey one. Ooh, so good far, one. Right? Good one. Because it's dopey challenge. I don't know if I told you. It's the no. What is that? It's got to be Disney Snow White. It is. It is. It okay. is because there's goofy challenge, which is a half and the full back to back. Oh, and the dopey is a 5k a 10k a half and a full in four days in four days so each day there's a race and And the other challenge is to get up early to take the bus and get to the start line and i think i would take the bus at three o'clock in the morning Race doesn't oh start God. till five in the morning, so the challenge is to wake up four days straight early enough. Because I like to wake up an hour early before a race, get ready, sure. you know, suit up, wake up, you know, eat a little something. I tend to not to eat too much. What do you eat? But, like a banana? Uh, yeah, half a banana. I don't like to eat too much, or uh, maybe half a a bread or bagel, a toast. Mm-hmm. Just some Something. kind of jumpstart fuel. Yeah. yeah, and then from there. But it's a Disney race, so I don't really have to go hard right away. So, mm-hmm. Man, they're, they're, yeah. just, they're just trying to kill people with that. <laughs> I, there's, people are addicted to it because the medals, first of all, and sure. running Disney is another, right? If you're Disney fanatic, it's amazing. Yeah, I bet. Because it's yeah. like you're going to be running regardless. Might as well get some cool swag with it. Yeah. Man. So I have to say, because Dopey was like my second full marathon. Good Lord. <laughs> right Which out the was, gate. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, I my first full marathon was 2013. And then I waited 
five years to do my second full marathon. But before that, I did my 50 mile in between that. So, Jeez. Yeah. so by that oh. point, the full marathon, you're like, eh, I did a 50 <laughs> mile or a bit ago. This is going to be jump change. It's always a challenge, though. Even though that you've Jeez. done long distance, there's always challenges. And that's, I, I want to say this, what I like about it, it's always challenging you. Sure. That is yeah. just good lord who thought of that who <laughs> <laughs> was like let's do everything let's do the 5 10 yeah. half and full marathon in a weekend because yeah. why not i guarantee the person who thought of that isn't running these things uh, maybe but i'm oh, pretty sure they or maybe yeah. they are and they're the crazy right. person in the front yep my but yeah it's it's fun i find it Ooh. fun that i mean hey i can understand why that's your favorite now that is well, amazing. Well, the metal, like, I, I usually tend to wait for the anniversaries because for me, I don't live near Florida. So, that is true. To travel would be quite expensive. So, oh, yes. I'd have to pick and choose my races. That makes sense. So, <laughs> right. I but, so I so respect that because uh, your mental fortitude to and, and just physical. Like, the fact yeah. that you're able to do this with your body, it is, de like, that's a big thing with martial arts I talk about, is it's, like, 10% physical, 90% <coughs> mental. Totally. And it's like that with pretty yeah. much everything you do, especially yeah. stuff like this. But yeah. the fact that you've done all this thing, and it's fun, is incredible. Well, you, got, I, you gotta make it fun. If not, then it's just work, right? I agree. What's the so. point if you're not having fun? Exactly. Man. So. I just, I also can't believe that somebody who started out with a half marathon, you never, like, thrown up, passed out, almost died. It's like you were made for this. <laughs> I wish. Dude. There's, I think it's just the training, and you have to trust the process. Yeah, that's true. You so, don't want to go too crazy, yeah. says no. the guy who started with a half marathon <laughs> and then did <laughs> another one. <laughs> right, exactly. Sheesh. Yeah. Wow. So, I'm the... Uh, um, I, you could say the odd one. I like, mean, there's times where there's rules where you shouldn't wear new clothes, new shoes, new outfit. But I tend to sway and do the opposite. Or <laughs> eat. Yeah, it's like I don't know what it is. It's just like we're being rebellious or something. You're the Rock Lee of running. <laughs> You're like I need to make this way harder. Oh, totally. Because that's where the rush comes in. Yeah, and then because, when you take the leg weights off, yeah, it's done for. Totally. So Man. I don't know. That's just how it is for me. Like, That's pretty. I awesome. I wear new runners for half marathon, which you should never do. Well, you break them in for that's for sure. Uh, well, yeah, exactly, and you'll know that that's the right shoe for you, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully not uh, at mile, you know, twenty. <laughs> yeah, never test, never test run my running costumes. It's pretty much. Make the costume right till race almost race day, and then wear it the next day without testing it out. Sure. Yeah. So yeah. Man, One what, of those. What do you find are the best running shoes? Well, everybody has their own. Um, I guess what feels comfortable for them. Sure. I, I've been running with uh, Nike for pretty much most of my running career. Right on. Um, I've tried Adidas. I've tried. You know, as I've tried, I have, but I've never tried certain, uh, like, I haven't tried Brooks or, um, but I've tried other ones. But I tend to fall back to Nike. Yeah, and it's just that's just for me, right? Sure. Everybody yeah. Has. Everyone's got different feet. Yeah. Like, I've got like a mega arch in my foot, so like I oh. can't wear Converse because oh, it'll, because that's they're so flat. flat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you're when you're looking into running shoes, like, what are you looking yeah. for in the shoe? <laughs> for me, it's just uh, it needs comfort to cover and, your foot. Yeah, <laughs> comfort style, and uh, I guess yeah. Because I've never like done a bunch of running and stuff, and like my yeah. wife's a nurse, so she needs yes. shoes. She's on her feet she, all day, every day. Right. So she has like she needs extra padding and like the insoles yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm assuming you don't need those kind of things for running. You do. But yeah. It, it all depends. Like, um, I I find it as long as it's comfortable. For and you could test it out in the store. See, like, do like little kind of couple little like five Ks in the. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think these are good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. It all depends. I think it's all in what you 
I guess, want your feet to be like, you need comfort and you also want it to be light, not clunky, but it all depends on what your, I guess, your style and, you know, what you want to do in your race kind of thing. Sure. Is there a difference in a shoe that you would wear for like a 5K versus a 50 miler? Or a shoe's a shoe? Uh, yeah, I guess you, like, if I'm doing a 50 miler, most of the ultra marathons are on trail. So I'd like to have like a trail shoe that has, you know, good grip, oh, good traction. Oh, that makes sense. Because there's, I guess you could, there are specific shoes for trails and specific shoes for road, right? Sure. It, it's not really comfortable to run a trail shoe on road because it, it has a lot of traction. It's great, but it doesn't give you that comfort. Right. That makes sense. Have, like the ground's already cushioned if you're doing the trail. You just need the traction almost, right? Oh, yeah. That's a good point. So that makes sense. That makes sense. So trail shoes are good for trails and, you know, light uh, cushion shoes for the road. But it also has to give like kind of like a good, um, good support too, right? Sure. Sure. So when you're, when you're doing like a, like the super long ones, like yep. I keep bringing up the 50 miler cause my brain just can't wrap my head around it. Is it, is it laps and laps or is it just a direction? Uh, so for a 50 miler, I think the longest training run would be 30 miles. 50 K. Uh, so you don't want to do the full 50 miles if you're racing a 50 miler. Uh huh. Okay. But, uh, for my training program right now, cause I'm training for a full marathon in May. Um, usually it's 18, 20 for the max Ooh. and for the shoes. Um, there's something that's comfortable that will keep, you know, keep you st- stable and um, doesn't hurt your feet much. Sure, sure. Cushion, good cushion. Makes sense. Me. Yeah, for sure. Yes. Yeah. Man, that just blows my mind. Yep. <clears throat> and yeah. then we, we got to talk about this thing that you're doing right now with the okay. uh, Manitoba Cancer I'm butchering it. Help me out here. <laughs> uh, Cancer Care Manitoba Foundation. There it is. How did yes. you get involved with this? Tell me what's going on. Well, it's uh, my two friends. Uh, one is uh, the race director that I'm on the committee for. Fantastic. Uh, John Tortia and uh, Juno Malpad. He's one of their, they ran, this is the second uh, year for run year. It's called Run Your Lungs Out. Oh, and, cool. Yeah. So it's Rilo for hashtag short. Hey. Um, and it's, uh, it's for raising funds for uh, lung cancer. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. So last year they did, it was a challenge, a 24-hour challenge on a treadmill. And, oh, uh, God. Straight? And, and straight, yeah. And oh well, God. you can take breaks here and there, like bathroom and eat, you know. Sure, but wow. Nutrition breaks. Uh, so him, uh, uh, Juno and Jonathan, they ran a hundred miles on the two treadmills, oh. and there's a total, yeah, and a, a total of four treadmills, so one on each side of them, and there's different slots for to fill up, and you could run beside them last year oh that's cool uh, so i did half an hour slot time so this year i upped it and doing four slots so i'm doing two hours oh uh, sweet and uh juno is actually running 12 hours of that run on the treadmill this year goodness <clears throat> yeah and this year it's they upped it to eight treadmills so there's Whoa. So it's actually sold out. Oh, sweet. Yeah. it. Uh, all the treadmill spots are sold out. 392 spots. Wow. That's great. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's donations to uh, Cancer Care Manitoba. That's so cool. Yeah. That is – dude, that's a lot to sell out. Yeah. So I'm uh, – Trying to raise five hundred for uh, 
my part. So that is you great. Know, if I could do more, then I'll do more. Yeah, right on. That's that's good. So how did you hear about them? They're your friends beforehand, and then like, hey, let's do oh, this yeah. thing. Uh, they wanted to do something because uh, I guess one of their because they were Lululemon ambassadors, and um, so they wanted to do something oh, man. to race. Well, hey, they so, came to the right guy. Yeah. Need some running stuffs. Daryl's your man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a part of it. That but guy can run. Honestly, the community in Winnipeg is amazing. Yeah, 392 spots sold out. I'll say so. Yep. Man, yep. that's so cool. And when is this happening? Uh, it's happening April 26, I believe. Cool. Yep. Starts April. 26 and end in uh, April 27, 24 hours. Wow, that's intense. It is, and then throughout the night they'll have buses and some boot camps during the people running the treadmill. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so it's gonna be like a party. Yeah, it's a whole event. Active party. Dude, that's so neat. Yeah. What a cool way to raise some money for a good cause too. Oh, totally. Man, so I'll definitely be uh, posting a link to your to your donation thing with this. And uh, man, can you believe we've already talked for an hour? No. Look at that, Daryl. We did it. We did it. I was like, oh, I'm like, I'm not that interesting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you would be amazed how many people say that. Almost yeah, everyone. This yeah. stuff. This stuff is fascinating. That's that's the greatest thing about this show. Uh, is that I get to talk to people who have totally different experiences, and I'm like, I I just get to learn. Like, oh, yeah. I didn't That's know why I love any you. of this. That's stuff. why I love listening to you. So it's there's so many interesting people out there. It's like, oh man, that's right. awesome. And you're one of them, Daryl. <laughs> you made Woo-hoo. the cut. We did it. <laughs> Dude, this was uh, super super fun. It is. So before Thanks. I forget, yeah. where can people find you online? Um, uh, Instagram, uh, Debo27, and I dabble with Twitter. Uh, I'm Debo underscore 27. There we go. And yeah, that's the only the two that I usually use. So that's right. That's right. And yeah. then the Manitoba, say it again. <laughs> uh, Cancer Care Manitoba. Cancer Care Manitoba. Check them out. That's at the end of April. And, uh, dude, I'm so excited. I'm so excited yeah. that I got to have you on. This was great. And nice. I'm excited to see the this goal this goal being reached. It's yeah, going to be fun. Thanks for having me on. This... Of course. Of course. Thank you for all the support because you've always been there, and it's it's really cool to get to know you even better. Oh, thanks. I've enjoyed this. This is super great. And... <laughs> Hello, friends. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of The Interesting Podcast. If you'd like to follow the show, it is at Pod of Interest on Twitter. If you'd like to follow me, I'm at Jedi Brian on all social media sites, as well as BrianBalance.com. That is balance with two L's. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it and tell your friends. Let them know we've got some cool stuff going on over here. Speaking of cool stuff, we now have merch. That's right. Just search The Interesting Podcast on TeePublic to get some sweet gear. Also, I've made a Patreon. So if you'd like to support the show and get access to other exclusive shows, you can now do that at patreon.com slash JediBrian. On that note, special thanks to Chris, Ben, Jim, Daz, Kelly, Daryl, Logan, and Victor. Your support means everything, and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. So until next time, be well.